Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division 2 video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 1 versus 1 on Orsha North. And in this one I've got a rematch against Harold Alexander. This time around I'm playing with the 20th Panzer and he's going to be using the 26th Guards on the Soviet side. But let's get some troops down. Please remember everything you're about to see is still in beta and therefore subject to change. So my strategy is likely just to be push the far left and right side. It's a strategy that I tried against the AI, against Gonzo. It hasn't really worked out so far, but we'll see what we can do. We did manage to defeat Neff with it, but I think Neff was just having a bad day. He's a very good player. We'll see how Harold can deal with this sort of pressure on the right and left side. So we'll probably push into the middle of the trees here actually. I'm thinking to sort of mix it up a bit, maybe go through the middle of these trees rather than use the road and then just defend on this point and break out at this area and just kill anything that's either on the hill by encircling it and also we can push into the town from this position. So this is going to be quite interesting. Let's bring in a Panzer Grenadier with a half track for the top side. We're just going to play this quite defensively. We'll put that into there. We'll have a Panzer Grenfuhrer that can follow us into the trees. Now, both of those Panzer Fours can go into the trees and we'll make sure that we have some Sturm Pioneers that can go in there as well. Then we're going to need a Panzer Grenfuhrer with a half track that can push across the open. Lovely. So that's that sorted. Let's now bring in an AT gun for the high ground. And I'm going to try and get some Panzergrens into these points at the center. So we'll grab probably Panzergrens in the Opa Blitz because they are faster. Actually, never mind, we won't do that. We'll bring in our Flamers. We have plenty of Flamers and they come in with the motorbikes. So these will be pretty quick and able to get to these positions. So we'll try that instead. Might be pretty risky, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to bring in a couple Flammenwerfers for the town. On the right side, and we'll put a couple on the left side as well. The great thing about these Flammenwerfer is they, is they really do allow you to get lots of value for money. Let's get some up onto this hill as well. Put up a unit of Panzergrens there. Actually, let's just put a, a unit of Panzergrens with the half track up there. So same on both sides, and I guess we can push some Panzer IVs through the trees here. And we'll grab a unit of Panzergrenz, a command, and also some Sturm Pioneers to help us out with that. So this is going to be interesting because we're not directly going for the objectives, we're kind of cutting in between the objectives. So it may not work, but it's an interesting strategy and I'm, I'm willing to give it a go. I may invest some more points into this town actually. Let's just grab another unit of these Flammenwerfers and I will also bring in some command there on that side. Actually, never mind, we won't bring command. What we'll do instead is we'll bring another AT gun. And that AT gun can just unload and hide in the tree line there. So that's us good to go. Try and tuck them up a bit until Harold is ready. And we'll see how we get on. So our battle group today is using the Vanguard deployment which means that we have 150 points per minute in phase A. If we don't get an advantage early on 
we probably lost. So that's kind of the stakes really here. It also really does go downhill against the 26th guards because the 26th guards will have access to KV-85s. And those KV-85s, they have armor that our Panzer fours can simply not penetrate unless I get side shots. So I'm going to have to be very smart about how I engage those as the game goes on. I'm just going to chill for the time being. I'll get back to you guys when Harold is ready. And we're off. Not entirely sure what my Sturmpine is doing here. They're not even moving. Alright, let's uh, get them up to that right hand side. We'll use them to control the forest. I think I had originally intended to put them in the light forest here uh, and then walk them into the heavy forest, but we'll have them control the far right of the map just so that we don't get surrounded on that side. On this side, it's pretty easy to see if people sort of try and surround you. Let's just give uh, shift unload commands so I don't have to manually do that across the board. I'm going to unload my pans again for that. And we'll unload the Sturm Pioneers and we'll move them up like so. And my Flammenwerfers in position. That's good. Oh shit, that's not good at all. Okay, let's uh, pull these off to the right hand side. There's been an AT gun unloaded up there. That's a unit Panzergren dead already. That's really, really bad. Okay, well, we're bringing a supplement on this side. That is a PTRS squad. Uh, let's just put down some smoke for these Flammenwerfers. Nice. Oh, we need those Panzer guns to get off the road, otherwise they'll get killed by that assault gun. That is like an infantry gun at the moment that was firing us, at us there. Okay. Not too bad, we are 13 over 11. But I'm going to require some more tanks. Let's bring in a bunch more on the left side. I think the left side is probably easier for us to attack. I, guess I could also bring in the, the British Stalin to try and hit the town. Definitely something we could do. Oh, this PTRS is going to end up killing my SDK. That would suck. Yep, it's gone. Alright, well, still holding more points than our opponent, but the trades so far are definitely not in our favour. Be about uh, smoking our way over here. Oh wow, was that a fire position grenade? Unless he could see it, in which case, fair play. But still, that's ridiculous. Their, their gun is now dead. Okay, nice. Move back these Panzer Grants and move these guys over to accompany my Panzer Fours as we make the push. I think what I'm going to do is just push up to this road and try and kill reinforcements. And then what we can do is like smoke across and run into this building. Gen Pioneers on the left have died. That's not good. Uh, we also need to be careful with these guys. Uh, I might actually just have them go around like so. Well, that was a, a quick kill for us. Very nice. Oh, my 
Panzergen fuel has gone down as well there. That's not good. Let's see if we can surrender these. Nice. Should aim faster than the T-34? Maybe not. That was an armor crack. I'm not sure what killed that. I think that was maybe the Gavardia in the side armor. Well, our attack on the left side is just completely falling apart. So we're probably going to have to avoid that from now on. Our oh, crew killed on one of my Panzer IV Gs. These PTRDs are able to penetrate those. So that is working out for them at the moment. I'm going to give these guys the extra veterancy and hopefully my Panzer IV G can win. Bring up a couple Panzergrens there just to help push up. And I'm going to bring this half track into the town here. So I move the AT gun over to the left side just so that we can fire at any of these T-34s if they push out. May as well fall back with this commander since he's just stuck in the open at the moment. And as the Boyd Stalin comes up, that can help engage the infantry gun. That's what it's there for. And no point really pushing into these trees anymore, so I'm just going to direct any units that were going to head in that direction over to the left. Right, hopefully, this uh, cluster bomb is not successful. Be very painful. And it was. Okay. That's uh, really sad. Oh, nice bailout. Good. We're going to have to just run away with that. And I think I'm going to bring in the Verflammen. We'll use that to just wipe out that infantry gun and allow our units to continue. So we'll just stop for now with these patterns of Grens, and as soon as that Verflammen fires off, we will get more aggressive again. Uh, let's just kill off this T-34. Or not. We're going to lose that engagement. Let's bring in some more Panzer IVs on that left side. The biggest issue we're having is that Harold can pretty much match any units of our own. And he has more of them than we do. He's also built his division to be Juggernaut, so if we don't get the advantage early, we are going to be absolutely screwed in the late game. Um, these Stem of Niki LPO are like the perfect unit at the moment for dealing with what we have. That's really sad. Okay, well, we'll bring up a couple more T-34s on the left side, and we're going to need to invest in our own Stern Pioneers there. I'm going to keep these guys here until my Verflammen's in range to kill off this 76 mil. The good thing about the Verflammen is they actually don't have that much dispersion, so I should just be able to use one shot there, or two rockets, and we can just spread out the barrage a little. Right, let's have these uh, three start to push aggressively. We'll let that fire too, and then I'll aim at the Gavardia. We'll hit those a couple times, and then I'll probably hit the Sapelli here. Two shots. We'll put two shots onto this one. And we'll put two shots onto these guys. And then we'll make a move across. Great. That's worked out well. I actually killed the infantry gun doing that. We're going to need some tanks to back this up. I 
Looks like those Gvalia really aren't being pinned as quickly as I'd like them to be. Uh, both of these Panzer Fours are already wrecked. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, my Panzergrens are losing here, maybe? Uh, that's weird. Why aren't they just being surrendered? Maybe there's not enough men in those squads to surrender my units? I'm not sure. Either way, we managed to take control of the town for a, a little bit. Gonna move this fair flamen for the time being. Bring in the ME109s again. Okay, that time around I don't think he killed them though, he didn't. We have shot that down. Okay, so good good kill, for sure. Just hit this happily. Looks like this push has been surrounded on this right side. Time to bring in our elite Panzer Fours. This is like our last, our last chance, really. It really is. I don't really have any more units that I can use at close range. I could bring in like a Panzer Three support gun here. But I should probably remove these because at the moment they do struggle with their HE shells. Well, if this is ready, then we should probably put a couple of rockets. We probably just put all of the rockets on here. Let's just do that. And I'll bring in some supply that can get that going again. I was saying that there should be an infantry squad out in the open, right? We could probably hit that with a couple. That's just there, okay. Well, we'll put a couple rockets onto this Gavardia. And I'll put one onto the uh, dumb of Niki. All right, so I'm there for can unload. Let's just uh, grab some Panzergrens here to hold that for the time being. Don't even know if I want to send any more stuff to this side. We'll just continue to push the right, I think, because then we can capture this town in due time. Nice kill there onto the Stuttbecker. Get some Panzergrands. Or oh, these are Stern Pioneers, sorry. Stern Pioneers can try and take control of that right hand side. Uh, for this side, we just want to unload these guys before they die. Because we now have an IS 1 to deal with. Alright, so that's going to probably be down to a couple of. Panzerstrike squads really to stop any advance from those. Okay, it's good that we took out that unit though. Let's just send that T-34 back to repair. And this one's going to have to back off from the push. Until we get our Stern Pioneers there. Because that is a pretty rough position for us. I'm glad the right side hasn't been uh, pushed at all. Move back a bit more. Too late. Let's get my aircraft in to just strafe that AT gun. Maybe we can move forwards and just engage it with the T-34 afterwards. How much damage we do. Don't think it'll be too much. Well, maybe we'll get it. Oh, close. Oh, nice. Okay. We finished it off there with the T-34 machine gun, I think, potentially. Okay, that's good. Let's 
some decent micro. My panzer tracks over here. Start pushing up with these panzer fours. There is some big old artillery coming in right now. It's likely the 203 millimeters or the 280 millimeter artillery, I think. I'm going to push a couple of Panzer Grenz to the mid. I'm not entirely sure that will be covered. As for this Panzer IV, let's have him go down here and get to this hill. Uh, actually, he probably doesn't want to come across the open there because of the IS. Mm, this is awkward. I'll well, just have to go like so. Let's pick those back up. And we'll move them forwards a bit more. Both of these are transmission damaged. Oh, that artillery smack bang on my Stern Pioneers. Of course it is. Alright, let's uh, unload these guys before they die. Smoke off that half track. I wasn't in time. At least my Panzer Force should be able to win that engagement. This is uh, pretty tense, actually. Probably going to bring in uh, my bombers, and we will just uh, bomb these areas and take them by force. And that one can unload. Should pin those. That's good. Lovely. That's two more points back in our favour. We're up to 14. Uh, that one can run away. Nice. Right, three minutes till phase B, and then the juggernaut arrives. <laughs> That's not a place we want to be. <laughs> we have actually made some ground back on this left side, but. Let's just uh, defend it for now. I'm not going to bother trying to take back this hill. It's absolutely futile. Well, actually saying that, if we can get some infantry to the bottom and then charge up, that might work, but it seems like it will take a lot of resources when we can otherwise capture these points on the right-hand side that are probably lightly defended. At least the hill is probably light defended because we haven't had any resistance from this area, so we can probably push into that. Uh, the Gavardi are going to have a go. Let's try and move over our Panzergrenz. I'm also going to bring in my aircraft because there is some artillery coming down. Uh, they've probably got corrected shot, so we're going to have to yeah, get our ME109s to help us out a little bit. Actually, if we can pin that... Actually, I'm just going to kill this. And let me capture that. Because that will allow the Panzergrenz to take that point. Nice, and we'll have those just evac. And we can run these guys down. Perfect. Uh, Stem Pioneers are doing well on this right side. Uh, let's get this back. And my T-34... Oh, they're just still going back there. <laughs> my Verflammen's ready though, perfect. That's really good. A lot of things going well for us in this game. We're on 15 over 9 at the moment. Uh, the Beobachter, uh, we want to kill those if we can. Nice, got rid of that uh, corrected shot. Okay, so now what we're going to do, bring in some more Panzer IVs for the close range and we'll also bring in some more Sturm Pioneers. We've got two Panzer IVs coming to this right side. Um, let's just have the Opo Blitz help out a little bit here by actually driving over to these poor tanks that are limping back. <laughs> and 
let's uh, move this uh, forwards as well, slightly. Then it gets line of sight over the right-hand road. So we want to take this position. I'm not sure yeah, exactly how well defended it is. Uh, let's bring in some more Stern Pioneers though, since it seems that controlling this area is going to be pretty important. Uh, that artillery is going to kill my Panzer IV straight up. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we're going to have to keep these guys hidden. Uh, let's just run away from that vehicle. Thank you very much. <laughs> that artillery is really, really scary. We could use our own mortars potentially, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm tempted to bring in the SDKZs, but I think we're just going to we're just going to use our bombers on the KV-85s and then engage them with the Panzer IVs if we have to. That's going to be the plan. Uh, I might also bring in like a Pack 43, so we can ambush. It will get killed like almost immediately by the artillery, but at least it's kind of a distraction. Let's uh, start by zooming up here with the Panzer IV, though. Two more coming in there. Uh, we fixed up this T-34, let's send that up to the top and we need another supply. Okay, well, here they come. Gonna delete that Gavalia squad. Nice. Easy done. Keep putting pressure on the right side, I think. I'm, I'm also going to bring up a Pack 43 for the top of the hill. Uh, but ideally, I probably want to put a couple rockets onto the Gavardia, put a couple rockets onto the KV 85. We'll just attack the Gavardia first. Just want to slow down this push as much as we can. I want to ideally fire ahead of it slightly. Nice. We've got our Stern Pioneers, let's get them into the trees. Probably just going to bomb this complex. I'm also going to bomb this uh, infantry gun. I need to try and kill this uh, T-34. Let's unload this on the road. I'm going to attack me a bit. Let's pin that down. Let's capture it. Push this to 15. We have lost the right hand side. Like the right hand side of the town, that is. <laughs> One day I'll finish my sentences. That bombing strike I think killed the infantry gun, but taking the top of here is really, really good for us. Gonna have the Stern Pioneers sit in the compound. And we're gonna move this pack 43 forwards. Nice. Uh, this is currently reloading. That's our Verflammen. And then this thing, uh, we probably won't turn off HE so it doesn't reveal itself. Because it's primarily there just to kill the KVs. Oh no, did the artillery still kill that? I think it did. Uh, or maybe it got shot. Oh, I must have got sniped through by the KV, that's sad. That's really sad. Now I have no idea what's ahead of us here. Uh, there could be anything on this road. I guess we can move the Panzergrenz forwards a little bit and have a look. Uh, I really wish I had like Panzergrenz in this town. I'm 
hoping those rockets, when they come down, they help pin these guys for us. Oh, that was a surrender on one of them. There goes the KV-85. Okay, we've lost control. That's not good. It's uh, coming behind. We'll have the Panzer IVs coming behind. Oh, the Dushka got killed there by my Verflammen. Really nice, actually. Unintentional, but very nice. Let's uh, bring in a couple more Panzer IVs. And we're going to want to move this uh, Pack 43 after this. Oh, never mind, too late. <laughs> it's already dead. <laughs> the artillery is brutal, it really is. It's absolutely brutal. Oh, they're pushing into the town. I didn't even notice this. Thankfully, our flamers are pretty good. Uh, transmission destroy is pretty rough. Hopefully we can deal with that infantry. I'm just going to bomb the left side of the town. Hopefully we can take that back. Okay, nice. That's transmission destroyed, so it's just ruined. Three minutes till victory if we can hold on. Uh, I think I'm just bombing my own Panzer IV there. Uh, let's come over to the left side. Uh, actually, no, we won't do that because there's a lot of uh, AA and shit here. Can I unload my Panzergrands? We have lost the objective in the town. Okay, let's uh, bring up some more Sturm Pioneers for that. And maybe another tank at some point. Oh, we have all of these Panzergrands that can push towards this town, actually, and secure that. Uh, we also need the Bertram to go back now. Uh, let's have that come back. The upper blitz can stop. That Panzer IV can drive to it. This Panzer IV G can come over to the left. Right, we killed that infantry gun. Uh, unfortunately, my Panzer guns failed to kill the IS-1. The IS-1 is the heaviest tank that he has access to. We'll just evac there since the M15 is shooting at us. Uh, Panzer IV was destroyed, I'm not even sure where that was. Uh, time to take back this objective. Have the half tracks go up. Okay, not bad. Uh, we're still holding on to this right side of the town, but it's like four minutes now until victory. Two minutes until victory with 15 points. Uh, we can probably, I think, take back this town here. If I get in a aircraft that can kill the IS, then we'll be in a really, really strong position. Because I can have the Sturm Pioneers just take back that town. Nice and easy. Alright, that point is back in our hands on the right side. And we have lost the point on the left side. Uh, let's just put down smoke. I'm going to move to the left. And then we're going to move down like so. Alright, let's bring in the GU87 here. We will spot it soon. Ah, oh, shit. We didn't see it. Alright, we'll just have to bomb these. Uh, let's just bring in the bombers. Oh, I do actually have this flamen like next to the Gavardia squad. Well, that works. I didn't even see them there. <laughs> He's probably wondering where the hell they came from. Uh, let's not bomb our own dudes. I think I just did. I uh, don't think it actually affected my own dudes because they're in cover. It's nice. We'll capture back that point. And it looks like we're holding on for dear life on the right hand side. It seems as though we've done enough in the early game to secure this. Uh, we will see. 
It's getting close. It's so close. There's like one minute left. Can he bring it back? I hope not. <laughs> bring in some more Stern Pioneers. They've been saving us so much. We'll bring in some normal guys here. I need this uh, SDK of Z to spot the... Oh, okay, that's not going to spot it. Oh, nice. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Go on, get that kill. Get that kill. Get that kill. Oh, no, he lost line of sight. Oh, tragic. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. Oh, that is oh, so crushing. Be about getting some smoke down here and pushing across. Okay. So we're holding on the top right, just about. Bring in some strafing runs there. We're currently holding 15 points, I've pushed back and I'm holding with this one. Um, my JU87G should actually repair quite quickly. So we'll have that available soon. And we won. Oh, yes. Whew. That was close. <laughs> that was very close. I, I, could just, I could just see the front line breaking at any minute. But we managed to hold on. That's great. 31 minutes and 2 seconds, we find victory. The Vanguard deployment worked out well. I reckon if he'd had, like, balanced deployment type or maybe even Maverick deployment type with that battle group, then he would have rolled me over very, very hard in the mid-game. But thankfully, we had just enough time to get enough points to win the game. And yeah, what an incredible game. You can see he was definitely biting back at the end there with his 2,400 kills to 2,125 losses. So we were negative, that's for sure. Anyway, let's have a look at these kills. Uh, the Stern Pioneers saved us so much in that game. The T-34s also did pretty well, and some of these Panzer IVs did well, but some of them definitely didn't. I think the PTRDs from a lot of those uh, infantry squads just definitely set us back quite a lot. Um, it's really hard with the Panzer IVs because they have limited armor compared to something like a Panther or a Tiger. Um, you can get killed at close range by AT rifles, so that really, really sucks. But there we go. OT-34s, they did very well for Harold throughout this game. Look at this one, killing two Panzer IVs and a T-34. That's uh, very, very nice. These 203 <laughs> um, howitzers did a lot of damage, and then some 280 millimeter ones coming in eventually. But yeah, the Pac-43 on that hill <laughs> got deleted. I was hoping to move it, but it wasn't quick enough. Either way, that was a fantastic game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.